uh, the original 80s She-Ra had a big rogues gallery of villains. What stood out about the original Catra that made you decide, quote from Brenton Davis uh, via email, this is the one that She-Ra is going to kiss. <laughs> I'm just like a sucker for like a like a nemesis ship. There's just something to me that is just like there's so much just like spicy like like sparks there. Um, and and like it was one of the first. They actually um, the executive I was working with on developing the show. She actually kind of that. Although I don't think she knew that like. You know, she'd be like, I thought they should have more of a relationship. And I'm my head, I was like, kissing, yes, no more. I don't think that she quite under, like knew that that was what I was going to do at the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like they're, they're, they're sort of um, like catch, I think, in like before they brought in Hordak and brought in the rest of all the Masters of the Universe characters, Catra was kind of the main villain to she They were counterparts. So um, it just made sense to me that they would have a special connection. And that, that would turn into, you know, romance. Just makes sense to me. 